Welcome boys to the Ultimate Star Wars mod for Men of War Assault Squad 2. The Ultimate Star Wars mod is very interesting because it's both a new and old mod for Men of War at the same time. Originally, and we've played this on the channel before, it was known as the ASV Star Wars mod for Men of War. And then there was a lot of weirdness. I remember there was some claims of like stolen assets and things like that from Star Wars Galaxy at War, and eventually the ASV mod was scrapped and instead replaced with the Ultimate Star Wars mod, which I believe has assets from Star Wars Galaxy at War mod in it, however, they were given permission to use them. At the very least, that was my understanding, but uh, I could be wrong on the timeline there. Either way, this Ultimate Star Wars mod is not one we've actually played on the channel all that much. We've used variations of it in the past, however, it's now sort of come into fruition as its own thing, and it's got its own unique combat to it as well. Like, check this out right here. Clone Troopers versus a few Jedi. It is very, very different from Star Wars Galaxy at War mod. If you couldn't tell, yeah, it's a little bit different. <laughs> the Jedi are way better in this than in the Galaxy at War mod. Um, and there's just way more effects going on and things like that. It's a very different mod. I mean, look at this. They actually deflect. They have an animation to deflect. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. He's gonna chop you in half. Oh no! Yeah, so as you can see, it's it's very, very brutal. And we're going to showcase all the different factions in this mod currently. It's something we've done in the past with the ASV Star Wars mod and other iterations of the Ultimate Star Wars mod, but there's been so many updates, the timeline of this mod has changed so much that there's so many new things for us to check out. So. Let's get right on into it here, boys. If you do enjoy this video, hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's run it. Real quick, huge thank you to Instant Gaming for sponsoring this video. They have literally the best deals in gaming. I use it all the time. If you like Star Wars games, Lego Star Wars for $2. Star Wars Battlefront 2 for $9. One of my favorite Star Wars games, Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, a buck 70. If you want to play the Star Wars Galaxy and War mod, Men of War Assault Squad 2, $3. Extremely popular games can be up to 99% off. Link in the description below. Thank you to Instant Gaming for sponsoring the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Let's get into the video. All right, so starting ourselves off here, we have the Clone Trooper Legions, and here is the Wolf Pack. Each Clone Trooper Legion comes with a P1 and P2 variant. So here is the P2 Wolf Pack variant and the P1 here. And I've also gone ahead and equipped all the P1s with every Trooper variant within that. So all the different weapons you can have. As you can see, there's new flamethrowers, new uh, variations of the C6 rotary cannon right there. Uh, same rocket launcher, same DC-15A, same dc 15 uh, a legendary, I believe is what that is, DC-15C, DC-15X. So pretty much all the standard weapons from the Galaxy at War mod, plus a couple extra bonuses right there. But then we've got all the different Clone Trooper Legions. So we've got the 187th here, the 212th, the 327 Star Corps, the 41st Elite Corps, they only come in P1. I'm guessing they're Scout Trooper variants, but we'll get to that later. Uh, here's the 442nd Siege Battalion, 501st Legion, Shock Troopers, 91st Reconnaissance, and Shiny Clean Clone troopers. Now, some of these models are definitely shared with the Galaxy at War mod, and some have a few tweaks to them and stuff like that, uh, but obviously, lots of clone trooper legions, very exciting. But then there's, of course, the variants to all of this as well. Uh, so we've got, like, ARF troopers here, which come in both camo, clean, and then we've also got the urban environment, which is really pretty baller. <laughs> I mean, that looks absolutely fire. Okay, so then these other variants, we have the ATRT driver right here, Bomb Squad Trooper, Captain Commander. Then we get into the Commandos, which actually have shields generated around them. So we have a uh, Spec Ops version, the Standard version. This is an Engineer version, a Recon version, and a Scout version right there. Of course, we do have Delta Squad in this thing. So there's Sev, Boss, Fixer, and Scorch. Then we get into more variants. Now, they label these as variants, even though it's like the Devil Legion, Doom Legion, uh, Camino security, but I guess because they're not like official numbered legions, they label them as variants. Uh, then we've also got ourselves here, I think this is Lieutenant, I want to say. Uh, then we've got uh, the 
uh, Marines, the Galactic Marines. So this is the standard one. This is the white version. This is the version with no cape. And then these are what they call the flame version, which has a dark black variant and a white variant here from the trims on them. Uh, then we've got the officer, the, oh man, is this the sergeant? I can't remember. Uh, and then Shadow Trooper right there. So obviously, obviously a lot of variation amongst the clone troopers here, uh, but they're all really, really cool. And then we've also got the hero units. So the heroes include here Apo, Bakara. We've got Bly, but he weirdly has like the wrong colors and a gunner helmet, kind of like Bakara. That that one's weird to me. Uh, Cody, Denel, uh, Devil, we've got Echo, we've got Fives, um, and they do have the different variants. I accidentally spawned in <laughs> the wrong one of each. Uh, so let's see, Echo, we can have the 501st. There's the Arc Trooper variant of Echo. Okay, there you go. Uh, Fox, we've got uh, Gree right there, we've got Millis, we've got Neo, we've got Rex, we've got Thyre, we've got... Uh, Tethos, and then we've got Wolf right here. So as you can see, some of these are definitely uh, borrowed from the Galaxy at War mod, and others are their own little inventions, such as Bly right there. So there is some variations among them, and from what I can tell, everything is like slightly upscaled compared to Men of War Assault Squad 2 Star Wars Galaxy at War mod. Uh, it's like they upscaled all the textures, and they also upscaled the tar the uh, combat, which we saw at the beginning of this video. And so things are a lot more deadly looking in this. So if we go ahead and just switch these guys over to player one, uh, and we can go ahead and press start, and we'll have very different combat from Galaxy at War. There's a lot more effects on the battlefield, there's a lot more gruesomeness going on, stuff like that. It's uh, basically Rob's Realism mod, but for Star Wars. It's way, way, way more brutal. And that is a big difference between the Ultimate Star Wars mod and Galaxy at War mod here. And it does make for an interesting dynamic. Because they have upscaled models and because they have bigger effects, it makes it so the battles have to be smaller because they're a lot more laggy. Galaxy at War can handle a much bigger load than the Ultimate Star Wars mod. Giggity. Right, now let's talk Jedi here. So, uh, it does have all the same Jedi as the Galaxy at War mod, plus a few. The other thing is, it also has a B and a G version, which basically means blue lightsaber or green lightsaber. I really, really like that fact that you can get either color lightsaber for any of these guys without having to swap them around and stuff like that. Uh, so we've got Anakin, we've got a, I think they're called Quarrens or something, and that's like a Grand, something like that, but yeah, just sort of faceless Jedi that you can use for Order 66s and whatnot. I do wish they had yellow and purple variants for everyone too, but I get that that's a rare lightsaber type and stuff like that. This man's got Sith eyes, so I don't know about him. Kiati Mundi, Kit Fisto, Mace Windu, Obi-Wan, Plo, that might be a Quarren, I don't remember. Qui-Gon Jinn and then a random Rodian Jedi right there. So, quite a number of Jedi. And of course, like we saw earlier, the Jedi combat is pretty changed from what we are used to. Uh, it makes them a lot more powerful and a lot more, actually, like, <laughs> viable units. Like, they can actually go in and get some kills. They still do derp out and they're far weaker than the Galaxy at War mod. Like, as you can see, a lot of them just die really, really quickly in this thing. Uh, whereas in the Galaxy at War mod, they're a lot more powerful. But it is nice to see that they're <laughs> actually viable combat units versus not at all. So, yeah, they go ham. Obi-Wan's still alive right there, my favorite Jedi. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you probably know that. And like I said over here, like it's still kind of glitchy where like this trooper isn't attacking Anakin and Anakin isn't doing anything about it. So there are still some derps going on in this, but it is a much better Jedi combat system than the Galaxy of War mod, which I have to appreciate a lot. <laughs> it is quite nice, but these guys will eventually die here. Okay, maybe Anakin's got some moves. Maybe, maybe Anakin's on to something here, man. He's kind of doing it. Hold on. Hold on. Seb is even trying to... Oh, he finally died. He didn't explode like the other guys, though. What is this guy doing? You, are you, like, doing an emote and... Friendly fire. Wow. Okay, now we are on to the Resistance Troopers. So, yes, the four factions in this mod currently are the Republic over here, the CIS, which we will get to later, the Resistance, and the First Order. 
Now, they don't have rebels or stormtroopers as of yet, and I think they chose to include the resistance instead of those guys as a bit of a marketing technique, because Galaxy at War, uh, the devs refused to add any sort of uh, sequel trilogy stuff. You have to get custom mods to get that in there. Uh, so, having the First Order and the resistance is something that Galaxy at War will never have, so having this in their mod makes sense. It's filling a, a void, so that's, that's pretty nice. We got Chewbacca right here. We have some different first, or sorry, resistance troopers, heavy troopers, weird Lematode boys, Twilix, you know, the whole thing. I don't really know the specific names of these troopers. This is always funny because this is that weapon from uh, <laughs> Modern Warfare 2, and it somehow sneaks into a lot of mods. It's just odd. Uh, but yeah, just lots of different resistance troopers. They all look pretty decent, uh, really nice textures. These are all completely for the Ultimate Star Wars mod, not included in Galaxy of War at all. All right, now here is their counterpart, the First Order. So we have the 501st, we have a uh, commander right there. We have like a recon trooper. Here's Finn. This is like the most incredible model I have ever seen in Star Wars Galaxy at War. Or, or the ultimate Star Wars mod, any Men of War mod, look how detailed that model is for Finn. That is incredible. Uh, then we've got, I don't know, there's a lot of troopers, I don't even know their names because I don't partake in too much sequel content, but uh, we've got medics, we've got interesting standard troopers, then there's like, this is supposed to be a chrome variation, but it doesn't look great. There's a heavy trooper, sergeant, uh, shock trooper. Uh, another heavy trooper right there. This is supposed to be like the 212th. This is supposed to be uh, the 21st. This is, I don't even know, just a red variant, maybe the 65th. And then there's like, this is like the Cobalt, I want to say. I can't remember exactly. Sniper, that is a snow trooper. Um, I think they also double as flame troopers. Uh, one of the executioners. Then we got like this weird looking dude. A commando first order trooper, which looks sick. Another one of those weird looking dudes. These are the shock trooper uh, squads, which look incredible. Wow, these guys look amazing. And then uh, we have the uh, Sith troopers. So we got multiple variations of them, including in pink, which is kind of funny. Uh, then we've got a bomb squad trooper right there. These are some of the police units, which is interesting. And then a hazmat unit, which is kind of cool. Got a Nova Corps variant, uh, a, a shadow trooper. And then of course, Kylo Ren at the very end here, who looks really good, very detailed, nice looking Kylo Ren right there. So yeah, there's the first order. Okay, finally, the CIS. So we have the standard droid here. We've got a white variation. Uh, I don't know, this is like a dirtier variation or something, or just like sun damaged, I don't know. Uh, we got the blood droid force. Uh, we've got a black variant there. We've got a camo. This is actually a commando droid. Uh, and then if you go ahead and go into his inventory, you can take off his helmet and bada bing, yay. Uh, another commando droid right there. Engineer droid, Geonosis droid. We've got the variations of the Magna Guards right there. Uh, another, that's a different engineer droid, I think right? They're both engineer droids or something. Oh no, that's a marine droid maybe? And that's a pilot, I think. And then we got the security droid, forest security, tactical droid with the bazooka. Uh, tactical droids are something that's not in the galaxy at war mod, shockingly, so it's kind of cool to see them in this. Um, I don't even know, aqua droid. <laughs> and then we've got Palpy, we've got Dooku, and then this Sith uh, who does he even have a name? Jedi 12R. So it's the Sith Eye Jedi, actually, I was talking about earlier. So that's kind of interesting. So those are all the infantry. But of course, there's a lot of vehicles in this mod too that we could go ahead and check out. Okay, so let's start with the droid vehicles here. So we've got the HMP right here. We've got that Umbaran uh, pilot vehicle. We got the B2 Super Battle Droid, which is a really, really clean model. I love the look of this. Uh, then there's the B3, which is uh, sort of some extended universe content right there. Crab Droid. You can see there's a lot of differentiation when it comes to the vehicles from the Galaxy at War mod. Really nice droidica model right there. One of these dudes uh, who is in the Clone Wars, who is really cool. Uh, there's the Geonosian Speeder, a Staff Speeder right there. And then we move over this way. We've got the Umbaran Heavy Tank. The Super Tank, the Droid uh, Snail Tank, another different model right there, Herofire Droid, HMP, we've got the Gat Tank, which is a lot smaller version in this, uh, then we've got the AAT from the Clone Wars and an AAT from uh, the uh, movies, <laughs> then we've got the AA Turret, we've got a uh, 
uh, eweb turret we've got the geonosian sonic canner a can canner cannon oh my god i'm messing up all my words we've got the dwarf spider droid right there the uh large homing droid and then of course the tri droid which is really large in this mod so lots of different vehicles for the droids now weirdly there's an empire faction but it's only for vehicles uh, so we have a speeder bike, we've got a swamp speeder, TX-130 Imperial, UTAT Imperial. <laughs> One of the worst looking ATATs I've ever seen in my life, but <laughs> I don't know, it might just be a placeholder. Uh, then I think this is an ATDT or something like that. Uh, the walking flat gun, I love this thing. Uh, ATST and then a beautiful ATTE. The ATTE model they use in this is awesome looking. Um, so that's the Empire. And then weirdly, there's suspended, so those are old HMPs and old LATs. I'm not going to spawn those in because they might crash the game, I'm guessing. Uh, but then the only other faction is the Republic. Uh, so they do have new models for like the LAT here from the Clone Wars. Uh, and NU Class Shuttle here. Beautiful. Uh, and then we've got speeders. So we've got a Bark Speeder right here. We've got ourselves the standard speeder. We've got a Swamp Speeder and then an AA-5 Supply Tank for the Republic right there. And then in terms of regular tanks, we've got the Falchion, which is cool. We've got the A-6 Juggernaut right there. We've got the Sfati, which if you spawn it in in Galaxy at War, it crashes the game. So does it crash this? No, it actually works. Awesome. Okay. TX-130. Uh, and then we've got the UTAT Republic variants as well. In terms of turrets, uh, we've got the mortar right there, we've got the 50 mil, and then the E-Web, these are all, you know, Galaxy at War staples. And then in terms of walkers, we have an ATAP, we've got an ATAT -AT Republic, again, really silly looking, uh, an ATRT, which is little boy right there, ATTE, which again, I think these look fantastic, and an ATXT right there. So it's interesting because the uh, only three factions that have vehicles are just kind of like it's weird that the Imperials are there but then the First Order doesn't have vehicles and the Resistance doesn't. But that's okay because I guess you could give them the Imperial vehicles or the Republic vehicles or whatever. Uh, but lots of different vehicle variations in here. So really this mod is a pretty cool mod. I would say it's differentiated itself a lot from Galaxy at War uh, and combined a lot with them. Um, and I think both mods still have their place in the community, you know? Both have their ups and their downs. But what I say we do is have like a mini little battle here between all the different factions just for fun. Okay, so in terms of teams, uh, we have the Republic is one team, the Jedi are another team, the First Order are another team, the Resistance are another team, and then the Droids are another team. I'm probably gonna say the Republic's gonna win because they have the most units in the mod, but uh, you never know. So let's get into this very gory battle here. It looks like the Resistance Troopers are opening up first. The Republic's sort of charging the Jedi here, strangely, and now they're starting to open up into them a little bit while the First Order sort of shoots them in their backs, but they respond in kind with some fire of their own right there. Over here, the <laughs> Resistance is getting completely screwed. They're dead. Uh, the droids are getting really good licks in on the First Order troopers over here. I think the First Order has the second most troopers, but they're getting kind of quacked over this way. Okay, Flame Trooper from the Republic is dousing its own troopers in flames. That, he just killed half of their own force right there, I would say. That is not a good thing to do, my guy. The Jedi are still alive over this way pretty decently. It's the droids over here commanding this part of the battlefield. Republic still got some troopers and the Jedi still have some troopers. Let's go into full speed here as uh, we continue on this way. Lots of flames. That flame trooper has to be stopped. I think he's on fire himself now though, so he might explode. I don't know if that's how the flamethrowers work in this. And yes, he does explode and causes even more friendly casualties over this way. Just a few Jedi left alive though, so they're going to be shot down right there. And then that's pretty much all she wrote, except we do have um, just two Sith over here. Wait, what's back here? Wait, it's saying there's one more unit left alive somewhere. Oh, more, more troopers are burning. Oh god, wait, why can't I take control of these guys? Do, do, do. Okay, that was a little bit weird, but there we go. There they are. All right. Oh, that's who the other one is. Okay, there's uh, Palpatine over there as well, I guess. But yeah, it's just Sith left alive, and now they're getting nuked, and now it's just Palpatine. Oh my god! 
Well, how do you guys keep on friendly firing yourselves? <laughs> Alright, it's no shock that the Republic is winning this battle, given everything. Um, we got Palpatine over here. The grenade's going after him. Whoop. Bit of a whiff. Bit of a whiff. Absolutely crazy. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'd love to know what you guys think overall of the Ultimate Star Wars mod. Um, if you guys want me to do a showcase of the Galaxy at War mod in the future as well, because... I haven't done a showcase of Galaxy at War in many updates, so there's a ton of new stuff you guys might not even know is in it. Uh, but I also heard that they might be releasing a brand new update for the Galaxy at War mod in a couple months. So maybe I should wait for that uh, to come out eventually. That's just a rumor though, I don't know if it's true or not, but it'd be really, really cool if it did come out. So yeah, maybe I'll wait for that. Maybe I will go ahead and uh, just do a showcase after that update or something along those lines because it's always good because it makes it so you guys ha can sort of go ahead and like request things and stuff like that. Did Palpatine finally die? Yeah, he's dead, he's just glitched. Uh, so the Republic do end up winning that. Uh, but yeah, it, it just makes it easier for you guys to request different battles and stuff like that. It's kind of fun. Either way, that's the Ultimate Star Wars mod. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and all that good stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.